The no true Scotsman fallacy is also known as the appeal to purity fallacy. The Scotsman part of this fallacy can be replaced with the name of any group of people. No true Frenchman, no true Muslim, no true American. Using actual Scotsman in a silly example. Scotsman 1 states that Scotsmen don't wear underwear under their kilts. Scotsman 2 states that he's a Scotsman and he wears underwear under his kilt. Scotsman 1 replies, no true Scotsman would ever wear underwear under his kilt. This is a common one when debating Christians. If you tell Christian 1 that Christian 2 told you something about their belief system that doesn't conform with Christian 1's beliefs, the next thing out of their mouth will be, oh, but they're not a real Christian. That's the no true Scotsman fallacy. Then Christian 3 hears what Christian 1 says and declares Christian 1 isn't a real Christian. And then eventually there'll be someone who deems Christian 3 to not be a real Christian. Because there are so many varying beliefs in Christianity, because there are thousands of sects of it, all with different ideas of what it is and how it works, they all call the others, they're not real Christians. It's the problem with Christianity. They are all Christians, but none of them agree on anything, particularly how to behave. If you are discussing any demographic and your opponent chimes in with, yeah, well, no true whatever would ever do or say such a thing. That's a true Scotsman fallacy. Call them on it. Explain why this doesn't do anything to progress their argument. Be skeptical, damn it.